Hello, and thank you very, very much for joining us for just five minutes of uh, consideration of, of major topics, and one of which, uh, of course, at the moment is well-being and uh, resilience. Um, John, just to remind uh, folk that are watching that we have identified four main pillars of well-being within uh, organizations, from leadership to personal resilience, the need for good nutrition, and the final one, uh, which is really critical, is the culture itself, the team, um, the um, companionship to, to gain support. And I just wondered from your perspective, um, being an expert in this arena, why um, the kindfulness culture is especially important? Why kindfulness within remote teams at the moment is especially important? Well, I think it's uh, important for a number of reasons, but... Um, new research conducted by Question and Retain, that, who are like a, an insights agency, have showed that 66% of, of workers, young workers, are actually show, showing signs of mental health. So I think, you know, looking out for people and being kind um, is never more needed. Um, and also in that same survey, they're saying that generally as a, as a workforce, 48% of people are saying that they're, they're feeling sufficiently um not sufficiently connected, sorry. So I think that well, we need to be looking at ways to reach out and connect with people at the moment. Mm. It's very serious. I mean, we are under immense pressure at the moment, immense psychological pressure at the moment. And we wanted to get some very clear tips, right, John, for, for people watching, what, what could we do about it? So, so tip number one to have a think about it is this. I remember a year ago, I was with a board of directors in the construction business and, they, and two of the directors committed, John, to seeing each other for 30 minutes a week and they've continued it through COVID, uh, 30 minutes a week without an agenda. And they just wanted to communicate. And um, they have found that, and talking to them recently, it's immensely, immensely profitable because they've got to know each other. They've got to trust each other more. Therefore, they swap more information. Therefore, they solve more problems. And so one of the um, things that we, we definitely encourage in kindfulness in remote teams is time slots just to communicate about anything without an agenda. Could just be, again... 30 minutes a week. It's well worth diarying these kind of times at the moment. Um, and, a, and a tip from you, John, I know you mentioned something earlier today. Yeah, I, th I think it's one that speaks very closely to my heart about setting expectations early on. Um, I think we, we need psych uh, safety, psychological safety. And when we prov provide guidelines, we set boundaries, which are clear and communicated on both sides. I think both sides feel safe because they know what the rules are. They mm -hmm. know what the remits are. And so that acts as a bit of a protection for people. Certainly for myself, I need those, those rules in place. And so it's actually kind to be clear. Uh, and cl clarity is, is, is it needs extra effort remotely too doesn't it and finally um the other element of kindness for me has always been um listening to people being listened to um and one way we can do this is have i uh, do have conversations at work about the future the medium and the long-term future ask people their thoughts and their opinions it's not necessarily an urgent issue to solve at the moment but as people are listened to about their thoughts about how we could improve this or how we could work on that or um, how we could build these relationships in the business, whatever the subject is, and they're listened to, and people, that's a good opinion. Thank you for your opinion. It's a kindness that is given to people without having to solve an urgent work problem. So talk about the future. The more talk about the future, the more kindness is easier to, to, to make happen. So thank you very, very much for watching. Um, we'll be back with another video uh, next week, and um, we wish you a lot of well-being uh, within these tough times that we've got.